Now, on to the Las Vegas Aces, uh, who are without their MVP, Asia Wilson. Asia was injured. Uh, she injured her ankle in the last 10 seconds of uh, Friday's game versus the Connecticut Sun. She was ultimately ruled out of yesterday's game and was seen wearing a walking boot on Sunday. Now, guys, here is the thing, guys. Asia Wilson is the most important player for the Aces. Uh, definitely the most valuable player in the WNBA as a whole and will, for sure, in my opinion, win the MVP, regardless of if she plays another second uh, of this season or not. Um, this is a gigantic loss for the Aces team. Without Asia Wilson, the Aces narrowly lost on Sunday uh, to the New York Liberty. They did come back in that game. They were down quite, quite bad, uh, but they did come back. So that's a shout out to them. But um, this is an Aces team that runs on the engine that is Asia Wilson. Um, and at this point, Asia is listed as day to day. So we will see what the Aces decide to do. Um, and and if, if she does play relatively soon. Um, one thing's for sure is even similar to Benajah Laney Hamilton, uh, the Aces will be in the playoffs. They've already clinched a playoff spot. So uh, it's not absolutely critical that they have her for the remainder of the regular season. But this Aces team, I, I don't I don't see them making it far at all in the playoffs if they don't have Asia Wilson um, because she is just spectacular for this team. Before injury, Asia was on track to break the single season scoring record. She only needs 11 more points to do, to do that this season. Only 11 more points, 11 more points, and then she would have broken the single season scoring record. And, you know, not only that, guys, she is doing everything for this team, for both on the offensive end and the defensive end. She's averaging 27.3 points a game, the highest ever scoring average in the WNBA. She's averaging 11.9 rebounds. Uh, 2.7 blocks a game. And that just doesn't even show the whole of what she does for this team. Again, she is the end all be all for this team, for the their offensive schemes and their defensive schemes as well. Um, and so we'll see, you know, the aces are, are looking like, like some outsiders kind of when we, when we look at um, the, the playoff, um, landscape because the New York Liberty are looking so red hot, looking really, really good. Um, and the aces, even with a healthy Asia Wilson, it's still, in my opinion, at this point, it still would be a, a bit of a long shot for the aces to make the finals and win it a third time in a row. Uh, but without Asia, it seems like it's a no go for the aces. Uh, but we'll ultimately see. We'll ultimately see what happens. She, uh, as this, as I said, she is on a walking boot, and we'll see how long she's out for, and um, ultimately when Asia Wilson will make her return. Um. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying, it's, it's, it's quite, quite a bit of injuries facing uh, two of uh, the WNBA's biggest teams, the two teams that were in the finals last year in New York and the Las Vegas Aces.